Well, good morning. It's Sunday, the Lord's Day, and uh, it is October the 26th, 2014. We're here early in the morning before Sunday school and church. Our Old Testament reading today is in Jeremiah 17, 18, and 19. Wonderful chapters. We'll be preaching out of Jeremiah 17 this morning in church, and uh, some of these verses will be pertinent that I'll be reading. So I invite you to come if you if you do not have a bible believing a local church to go to ridgewood avenue baptist church 501 ridgewood avenue holly hill florida uh, we love to see you at 10 o'clock if you don't have other plans for a good church this morning the new testament is first uh, timothy 6 a wonderful scripture for reading through the bible in a year now let's look at a few verses here in jeremiah 17 uh, it says here, Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord and whose hope is in the Lord. Oh, trust in the Lord and hope in the Lord. What is the result of that? It says, For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters and that spreadeth forth her roots by the river and shall not see <clears throat> when heat cometh, but her leaf shall be green and shall not be and shall not be careful for the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Oh, look at there. Sounds very close to Psalm one. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, bringeth forth his fruit in the season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he do, he shall prosper. That's what you get for trusting in the Lord. Now, let's look to the uh, verse 9. What does it say about all of us? It says, The heart uh, is deceitful above all things, and desperately wicked who can know it. Desperately wicked heart in every person that ever was born. You say, oh, no, they're a good person. No, they're not. Everybody has a desperately wicked heart. That's what the Bible says here in, in Jeremiah chapter 17. So uh, you better trust in God. You better turn from your sins. Uh, you better be born again. You better have a new heart, a heart of flesh, instead of that stony, desperately wicked heart that the majority, vast majority of people in this world today have. Now, <clears throat> Let's look at the next verse, verse 10. It says, I, the Lord, uh, search the heart. Oh, what kind of heart do you got? Desperately wicked or a soft heart, a redeemed heart, a heart with the Lord Jesus in it. We sing it in Sunday school. Into my heart, into my heart, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come in today, come in to stay, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Do you have the loving heart of God? Or do you have a desperately wicked heart of a lost sinner? Now, nah, let us go on. Uh, the Lord searches the heart. Uh, I try the reins even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. Oh, boy. I'll tell you, you can tell a lot about who you are. You going to church today? Why not? If you're a Christian, you should. Do not forsake the assembly of yourselves together as a manner of such. So much more it shall be as that day appeareth. The Lord is coming, says more and more people won't assemble and go to church on Sunday. Well, that's the way it is. Uh, you might, there's a lot of Christians that don't go to church on Sunday, don't have a good uh, local Bible-believing fundamental church that uh, uh, teaches, the, teaches the Bible and use the King James Bible, I say. Use the King James Bible. Uh, you want the Word of God. There's not a whole bunch of Bibles. All these new Bibles... Uh, uh, and paraphrases and things, they'll take you astray. So uh, what kind of heart do you have? Have you got a heart of, of flesh? Have you got a heart of Jesus? Do you have a heart of love? Or is your heart still desperately wicked? Only you know. Nobody knows uh, but ourselves. We and God, if we're truly saved. Oh, it's a wonderful day. Go to church today. Everything else available. A lot of people are playing football. Oh, the NFL, they've even got a football game in England today to keep people out of church today. So isn't that something? And on and on. Uh, what, uh, what is your joy? What is your joy uh, on Sunday? Is it fishing? Is it golf? Is it football? Is it uh, whatever? Or is it God? I hope it's God. Have a blessed Sunday. 
talk to you later. Bye.